So I'm Simon Flaherty, I'm a, a GDP in St Helens, Merseyside, qualified in 1987 uh, at Liverpool. I uh, became a member of the Royal College of Surgeons in 2010 and I'm Chair of Mid Mersey LDC. Uh, looking at prototype and what was involved in the clinical pathway, really it suited the way we were working anyway. Um, you know, we have uh, therapists here and, and prototype works well if you're able to use um, the therapists um, for interim care uh, appointments um, for patients, more preventive appointments. Um, so for us, no, we, we didn't have to adjust very much to uh, the way we normally worked. In terms of the business side of it, I mean, I think, you know, for me, NHS dentistry is underfunded. So it's not as though this has suddenly, you know, increased our funding as such, um, but it's certainly better than the system that we were using um, for us. I think the, the reason, looking at it now, the reason why we've made it work, I think, because we actually, when we got the initial figures, um, it, it very much is different to the quantity side of UDAs has almost gone for us. What's important is patient numbers and we recognise that early on. And that's quite a different mindset um, for the, not just the practice or not just the practice owner, but also for individual associates, therapists, the whole team. So I'd say, first of all, we've, we realised that early on, how important patient numbers were, and we concentrated on that, uh, making sure that that was always on target. And I would say what we also did was communicate that well to the whole of the team, so that straight away all the associates knew that they, they didn't have to hammer home those UDAs anymore, that they could actually concentrate on the patients um, in terms of their and didn't have to worry about that side and we recognised that quite, quite early on and I would say that's why we made a, a success of it. I would also say as well that we were quite fortunate that because we'd gone in straight from UDAs to prototype um, that we didn't have to increase our patient numbers particularly. I was fully aware that those practices who used to be pilots their numbers had dropped because of the sort of care pathway taking a lot longer as a consequence they lost patients um, in, in pileup. So when they became prototypes they had to increase their numbers. I think for us it, it was we didn't have to increase our patient numbers so it was easier uh, for us to, to hit targets. Uh, as regards other practices you know our experiences has been fantastic. Um, I think you, you know with, it depends on the figures, you know, you need to look at what's being offered for your practice and in terms of your contract to see if it works uh, for you. I think um, if you, you know, if the figures work well, I would certainly go for blend B, the higher capitation um, element, and if, if all that works for you, and I think it will only work as well if there's good training uh, for dentists who are going on it um, and support for that in the, you know, the early stages of it. And I would fully recommend you know, that the managers at the principals of the practice make sure that the associates are eight, they're on board, that they are um, paid in the same way that the practice is, is paid, um, so it matches the same as the practice and that there's um, education for these associates you know throughout the practice so that they know exactly how it works and what is expected and how different it is uh, from the UDA system.